Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the fill in the blank flashcards and the image occlusion flashcards. These are slightly different from the basic flashcards and the concept descriptor cards, which I've covered in separate videos. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely check those out. But let's just get right into it. So first we'll talk about the fill in the blank flashcards. These were previously called closed flashcards, but fill in the blank is just a much more descriptive and accurate name. So we've decided to rename them to fill in the blank cards. And as the name implies, these are just fill in the blank type flashcards. Instead of having the typical front and back side flashcards, you can occlude certain parts of your REM that will be tested. I have an example here on the screen. Anytime you make a fill in the blank type flashcard, the occluded portion that you'll be tested on will be underlined blue and lightly highlighted in blue as well. Whenever you have multiple occlusions in your fill in the blank flashcards, like I have here, you'll see this drop down arrow beside the flashcard itself showing you that there are actually four different fill in the blanks for this flashcard here. You can make as many occlusions as you want per flashcard, and you can also mix and match which ones are occluded while you study. I'm gonna show you an example of all of those coming up. So let's talk about making these fill in the blank flashcards. Blank cards. There are three ways that you can make the fill in the blank flashcards, and I kind of break them down into two categories. The first one is while you are writing, and the second and third way while you are reviewing. So let's start with the first one, while you're writing. Let's say that I'm in biology class again, and today we're learning about DNA, once again. And the professor mentions a fact that DNA is in the shape of a double helix. Now I want to turn the double helix portion into a flashcard, because that seems like something that would be worthwhile for me to remember. To make a fill in the blank flashcard while I'm writing, I'm gonna use two of the open curly brackets. Not the open brackets like you use for references, but I'm gonna use two of the curly brackets, which are these guys right here. Typing in two of the curly brackets will open up the fill in the blank editor with this dark underlined blue and this faint blue outline. And let's type in double helix. And since there's only one occlusion in this flashcard, you don't get that toggle drop-down menu where you can kind of navigate between multiple fill-in-the-blanks. So let's go ahead and make another flashcard with multiple fill-in-the-blanks. So we're still in biology class, and we learned that the DNA bases are composed of purines and pyrimidines. So those are two fill-in-the-blanks that I'd like to make for this flashcard. So DNA bases are composed of two curly open brackets, purines, and I'm gonna use two curly open brackets again to exit the editor, and pyrimidines. Now I'm gonna click on the drop-down menu to show you what other options we have here. Clicking on the drop-down menu shows you a preview of what that card actually looks like. So as you can see, since there are two fill-in-the-blanks for this flashcard, it automatically made two flashcards on the right, where you have to fill in the first blank, and then you have to fill in the second blank. On the left panel, you have options to merge or split these different occlusions from your flashcards. So if I want to test both purines and pyrimidines in the same flashcard, I can just click on merge with pyrimidines. And now you'll see that these two flashcards were turned into one, and the flashcard will look like this, with two occlusions in the same flashcard. Again, I can split them up using this button right here. And you also have the option to toggle on the hide all test one feature. If I click on this, all of the closes in that flashcard are going to be hidden until you answer that flashcard. So if I click on this, you'll see that the other flashcard that was not being tested in this flashcard is also not shown. And clicking on show answer, it then reveals only the one that was tested. This can be a smarter way to study, especially if revealing all of the actual closes will give you hints on what the answers actually are. Now let's make a flashcard with more than two occlusions so we can see those split and merge features a little better in action. And I'm also gonna do them using number two and three here while you're reviewing. So later in this class, we continue learning about DNA and we learn that the DNA bases are cytosine, if I spell that right, cytosine, thymidine, adenine, and what was that, so guanine. So I want to make four occlusions for this one fill-in-the-blank flashcard. What I can do is actually highlight over the word that I want to occlude, hold shift, and hit one open curly bracket. That's going to generate one occlusion. I can do that again for adenine, holding shift and clicking on the open curly brackets. And using method number three, I can again highlight over the word and actually click on this icon right here, the dotted line box, to generate a fill-in-the-blank. 
So here I have four fill in the blanks. Let's go ahead and open up the preview editor. And let's say that I wanna be tested on guanine and cytosine at the same time, but not thymidine and adenine. Well, I can just merge it with one of these four right here. So I've merged these two flashcards together, meaning they'll be tested together, and these ones are still separate. And again, I can click on thymidine instead, and I can merge this one with adenine if I want to. And now I have two sets of two flashcards. And I also wanna mention that you can include references in your fill in the blanks as well. As an example, I'll create a fill in the blank flashcard here using two open curly brackets, and then I'll insert a reference into this editor using two open brackets. Let's just put remnote in here, and I'll close it with two open curly brackets again. And now I have a fill in the blank flashcard with a reference as the answer. All right, now let's move on to the image occlusion flashcards, which are very, very similar to the fill in the blank flashcards, except they work on images. At this time, the image occlusion flashcards are available for our pro and lifelong users. But whenever you insert a picture in a rem note, you can kind of resize it right here. And you'll notice the picture settings at the top right of the picture. Go ahead and click on that, and you have the option to generate image occlusion flashcards. Or you can use Control plus left click to open up the image occlusion editor. And now I can start generating occlusions for this image. This is a very useful feature for learning things like anatomy or tables and diagrams and charts uh, when you need to occlude certain parts of the image and recall what's behind them. And what I can do here is I can just click and drag over the image on parts that I want to occlude. So I'll occlude parietal, I'll occlude frontal, I'll occlude temporal, occipital. So each number here represents a different flashcard that's gonna be created. So right now I've made one, two, three, four, five flashcards. You can also preview what this is gonna look like by clicking on this button here. And just like in the fill in the blank flashcards, you can toggle on hide all test one. And this is gonna hide all the other occlusions on this skull picture for me so that I don't get hints about what the right answer might be. And also like the fill in the blank flashcards, you have the option to merge multiple occlusions together to generate different variety of flashcards. So let's say that I wanna be tested on both A, B, and C all at the same time instead of as individual flashcards. To do that, just hold shift and left click on all of the occlusions you wanna to merge together. So A, B, and C. And you can see that I just highlighted these three occlusions and I can just click on merge three into C. And now all three of these flashcards are gonna be tested at the same time denoted by the same letter in the alphabet. And then later on, let's say I wanna split up parietal from this trifecta, I can go ahead and click on parietal and split it. And it'll create a new flashcard. And now I'm just gonna quickly study these flashcards so we can see what they look like in the queue. So here are the two occlusions for this flashcard here. Two occlusions for the flashcard here. I occluded three in this one, one here. For the image occlusion, the flashcards that are being tested are the ones in blue. So it's frontal and temporal. All right, that's everything you need to know about image occlusion flashcards and the fill in the blank flashcards. Hope that was helpful and I will see you all in the next video.